Good morning students. So today we are going to start with a new chapter that is exploring the world of computers. So in this chapter we are going to learn about what is computer, uses of computer in daily life, role of computer in education, role of computer in business, role of computer in medical, role of computer at homes, types of computer in daily life, and types of personal computers. What is computer? A computer is an electronic machine that processes information. In the other words, we can say it is an information processor. It takes in raw information or data, processes or perform calculations give result and store it too. All these processes have a name. Taking in information is called input. Storing information is done in memory or storage. Working with information is known as processing and giving out result is called output. As you can see in the picture given below. Use of computers in daily life. First, Computers in education. As we know, education is the most important part of life. Computer is being used in schools and colleges all around the world to improve the learning process. In a classroom, computer-based training, CBT is called to explore creativity and imagination in students' mind. It includes online tutorials, lectures, multimedia presentations, online classes through the internet. Teachers can also prepare slides in computer and teach through multimedia. Other uses of computers in education are first, downloading online education materials, second, distance and online learning, third, keeping the record of students in schools, universities, fourth, library management. Here are some computer-based devices used by students and teachers in schools and universities. First, smartphones. Second, laptop and tablets. Third, web cameras. Fourth, projectors. And fifth, smart boards. The second use is computer in business. The use of computer technology in business gives it way to expand and explore. Business persons are using computers to interact with their customers anywhere in the world. Computers also help them to reduce the overall cost of their business. Many business tasks can be performed quickly and efficiently. Examples of using computers in business are first. In manufacturing, computer-controlled machines are used in production. Second, in retail stores, billing, stock, check and security is maintained by computers. Third, accounting software helps business to maintain accounts and pay taxes online. Fourth, online marketing and selling of products using the internet. Fifth, internet-based communication like email and video confer conferencing. The third use is computers in hospitals and medical profession. Computers or computer based machines in hospitals provide many benefits for doctors and patients. Hospitals can create a database with their symptoms, treatment and other information. Doctors are using computer-based machines to diagnose the diseases of patients quickly and accurately. They are taking help of various medical applications of computer and hardware devices. In hospitals, computers can be used to first store data about patients, their diseases and symptoms and medicines that are prescribed. Second, Research on diseases based on blood samples and urine tests 
doing brain testing and body scanning etc third sophisticated computer based system to analyze health problems in details like ct scan ecg and mri etc fourth monitoring systems are installed in medical wards and intensive care units icu to monitor patients continuously fifth these systems can monitor pulse blood pressure and body temperature and can alert medical staff about any serious situation six advanced computer hardware and software are used for hospital management computer based machines used in hospital are first ct scan second ecg third mri fourth blood pressure machine and fifth blood sugar testing machine the fourth use is computers and banks today banking is almost totally dependent on computers the use of computer in banking is not only saving productive time but also reducing the infrastructure cost of banks the innovative uses of computers in banks are the customers can operate their bank account sitting at home through internet banking examples of computer in banking are micr that is magnetic ink character recognition it is the information that appears at the bottom of a check this includes the bank's reference number the customer's account number and the check number it is used to ease the processing and clearance of checks and other document second atm automated teller machine these life savers allow quick and convenient 24 into 7 withdrawal of money from our bank account and also perform other banking transaction examples of computers in banking are first debit and credit cards a plastic card with magnetic chip issued by the bank allows its customer to spend money by drawing funds deposited in their bank account these cards are secured with digital password and allow bank customers to access money from anywhere anytime second banking apps today almost all the banks in india have mobile apps to access one's banking and investment details easily wherever and whenever we are on the go examples of computers in banking are first digital pos the digital pos point of sale is a standalone device which works through gprs network to accept credit and debit card payments at at any place any time computer at home computers have many uses at homes personal computers are used for word processing maintaining personal records and connecting to the internet some of them are using the computer to do online business Many people are using the computer for listening to songs or watching movies, controlling CCTV cameras, etc. Our homes also contain many devices that use computer system or chips. First, microwave, second, smart TV, third, Roomba by iRobot, fourth, Alexa, and fifth, gaming consoles. types of computer in daily life computers of the earlier times were of the size of a large room and consumed huge amount of electric power however with the advancing technology computers have shrunk to the size of a small watch computers can be broadly classified by their speed and computing power personal computer when most people think about computers they picture a personal computer or pc pc is an abbreviation for a personal computer 
also known as microcomputer. It is a single user computer system. They are based on microprocessor technology that enables manufacturers to put an entire CPU on the chip. Desktop computer and laptop computer. Desktop computer. They are person computers or desktop computer present on top of a typical office desk. Desktop are designed to stay in a single location. They cannot be powered from an internal battery and therefore must remain connected to a power socket. Laptop computer. A small portable battery powered computer small enough that is that it can sit on your lap. These computers come with battery packs that enables us to run them without plugging them in power for few hours. In terms of computing power, modern notebook computers are nearly equivalent to desktop computer. Tablets. First, they are handheld computers which are even more portable than laptops. Second, instead of a keyboard or touchpad, tablets use a touch-sensitive screen for typing and navigation. Third, popular use of tablets include playing games, reading e-books, watching movies, browsing internet, emails and etc. The Apple's iPad is an example of a tablet. Smartphones. First, a device with touch sensitive screen that lets you make telephone calls and have multiple functions similar to those who might accept from a regular computer. Second, they usually have a sufficient amount of memory so that they can store and carry music, photographs, videos, and information. Third, they can access email and the web wherever you are, either through a portable 3G or 4G connection or through a Wi-Fi connection. Fourth, they have the ability to run computer applications from as apps. Apps can provide a wide range of functions from word processors to game and foreign language translators. Workstation. A workstation is simply a desktop computer that has a powerful processor, additional memory and enhanced capabilities for performing a special group of tasks such as 3D graphics, game development, engineering, calculations, etc. That can be useful for car, manufacturing or gaming consoles, etc. Server. A server is computer that provides services or data to other computers over a local network or the internet. Servers usually have powerful processors, lots of memory and large hard drives. Servers allow many computers to share a printer or other devices without the cost of having to buy one for every computer. Mainframe computers. A workstation is simply a desktop computer that has a powerful processor, additional memory, and enhanced capabilities for performing a special group of tasks, such as 3D graphics, game development, engineering calculations, etc. That can be useful for car manufacturing or gaming consoles, etc. Supercomputers. They are one of the expensive and most powerful computers currently available. They have high speed processing ability and are employed for specialized applications like weather forecast, nuclear plants, etc. that require extensive mathematical calculations. Embedded computers. Embedded computers is a small computer fixed inside a machine to perform a particular task. 
It is designed to do some specific task rather than working as a general purpose computer which is meant for multiple tasks. The main purpose of an embedded computer is to control the machine in which they are either incorporated inside or connected. Some of the examples of embedded computers are first Kindle, second GPS receiver, third smart TV, fourth washing machine and fifth digital camera. Now let's recall some important points from this chapter. First, a computer is an electronic device that processes data under our instructions to give the output. Second, computer-based training is used in school, universities to explore creativity and imagination in student mind. Third, in business, computers are used to reduce the cost and help to run business efficiently. Fourth, in hospitals, computer-based systems like MRI, CT scan, ECG, etc. help doctors to diagnose the diseases of patients. Fifth, MICR, Magnetic Ink Corrector Recognition, is a corrector recognition technology used mainly by the banking industry to ease the processing and clearance of checks and other documents. Sixth, ATM stands for Automated Teller Machine, which is a specialized computer-based machine that allows quick and convenient 24 into 7 withdrawal of money from bank account. Seventh, at homes, computer-based devices like microwave, smart TV, Alexa, Romba makes a life convenient. Eighth, a personal computer, also called as microcomputer, is a small expensive computer designed for an individual. Ninth, a desktop computer is a personal computer that is designed to fit conveniently on top of a typical office desk. Tenth, a laptop is a small portable battery powered computer that can be placed on user's lap. Eleventh, microframe are powerful and expensive computers designed to support many users and programs at a time. Twelfth, supercomputers are the fastest and have high-speed processing power designed for specialized application. Thirteenth, embedded computers is a small computer fixed inside a machine to perform a particular task.